Is it, or is it because the laptop's tilted? Uh, it's because the laptop's tilted because yeah. the, shelf, the, shelving, yeah. the shelf is oh, even with the top. Unlock. I like that it's a touch screen when you're too lazy. Um, also, it's, I think, I believe. I didn't unlock anything? Uh, oh, no, I did. Let's go see. It's the better touch screen than the Wii U. We're live! I have to tweet about it. Oh. Uh, sorry. I've been. Uh, no! Just give me my stupid thing. Uh, this is Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective Legacy. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Yeah. It's Sherlock Holmes it's Consulting Kart. Mario Kart. Kart. Blue Shell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Who's, who's through that, that blue when shell? You're, when you're in front, you don't know who's through right. the blue shell. Yeah. You need to investigate the, the other witnesses. The yeah. Yeah. I did not get my car still. Sorry. Mario Deluxe 8, or Mario 8, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the exact same game as Mario Kart 8, which I spent so much time on. With all the tracks unlocked. Yeah. I got all the tracks, all the characters, all the vehicles, everything, and then... Mario Kart 8 Deluxe comes out, and they give you all the tracks and all the characters, but not all the vehicle things, and I want my car. Sorry. Anyway, we're playing Watson and Holmes <laughs> Consulting Detective. Or no, I don't think that it has a subtitle. No, it just, doesn't. Uh, it's, it's just yeah, Watson it's and Holmes. Yep. In a really, really nice, um, like, box packaging. Yeah. Like, stuff. this one is doing the other Uh... <sighs> Oh, crap. Yes. I'm live on the internet, though. <laughs> I'll do it in a minute. Give me 20. Thanks, Mom. No, it's Chris. Okay. Um, anyway, so if you've seen Sorry. the new Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, the second edition one, it is a very similar style packaging and like art and stuff. It's just a red box. Mm. Um, and so this is a, uh, the English version of this. This game was originally released in Spain, I believe, um, by Ludanova. And uh, this is Asmodee's version. And they did it really nicely to match the new Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. So if you didn't know about this game, this is Whoa. a legacy. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. What? Whoa. This is a legacy Amazing. style game. It's like DVD box set right there. Um, oh, it's a legacy? Well, it's sort of legacy. Like you don't destroy anything, but once you play it once, you know the answer. Uh, so there's no real reason to play it again. Yeah. Um, so because of that. Based. Similar to Consulting Detective. I mean, different gameplay, but. We have Spoiler Dog. <laughs> so um, because this is a game. <laughs> <laughs> What's, did you take an allergy pill? No. Maybe you should go do that. <laughs> um, because this game has information that makes it where you can't play this game, uh, again, if you've played it once or seen it once, we now have Spoiler Dog. Um, so Spoiler Dog will be present on the table, um, specifically on the table, uh, when we're reading information that is spoilerific. Mm. Um, i.e. like the solution to the game. So when we get to that stage uh, at the end, we will be dogging it. Um, so keep that in mind if you see the dog and you're like, what's up with that? Spoiler dog. But That's for now he's going to hang out. He's going to hang out back there. Um, okay. So there are 13 ca cases in this game. Uh, the first of which is an introduction uh, case, but each case has some sweet, sweet information on it just on the front. Wow. So you have um, some beautiful art. We have the name of the case. We have the card layout, um, which I'll talk about here in a second. It's kind of, there you go, right there. Um, and then we have like the level of difficulty. And then this is kind of a cool feature. There's a QR code on every book and the QR code takes you to a website where someone reads out in like voice acting voices the story setup of the case. Whoa. Yeah, and reads out the like solution at the end once somebody like gets it. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, and on the sides they have like, do not open before end of case. Um, so you read the story on the back to get you started and the front is your setup and then the inside is the solution. Is it a consistent story through the whole game? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. They're so different funny. cases, yeah. but um, yeah. So um, I did the setup already, which is I punched everything. 
Um, everybody gets a standee of the one that, ah, sorry, I just vaselined whoever that character is. Um, everybody gets a standee of the thing, and then these are carriage tokens. We're gonna go ahead and put those in a bowl. Are we choosing a character? Or? Uh, color. Color. The, I mean, pick whichever one speaks to you. I'm going with the orange one. You want to fight me, bro? Um, thanks. I'll and then you get, like, the magnifying glass that goes with it. I'll go whatever um, you um, I'll go with Miss Scarlet. Okay. okay. Dr. Plum. <laughs> this game is basically <laughs> Clue. Like, this game is, from Our what I one. have read, like, this yeah. game is what I wish Clue was. Do you um, need these tokens? Yes, we need those tokens. Um, you can put those in the basket. So, um, <clears throat> these... Do, do, do. These envelopes, there's one for each case. Also, hello, late night tabletop. Um, okay, so these envelopes, they have one envelope for each case. Um, at the beginning, when you open the game, the cards are actually still sealed in their decks, and you have to separate the cards by cases, and then you have to put them in the envelopes yourself. It's not that big of a deal. You don't lose anything by reading the backs of the cards. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to be careful not to flip them over. So there's one envelope for each case. Um, and like I said, the first case is very much an introduction case, which is why I feel comfortable um, streaming it. Oh. So let's, the, yeah, the art's pretty good here. <coughs> let's, uh, let's do a close up of the envelope. So it's yeah. the logo. So nice. Oh, I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> um, so it's the logo oh, it's of the stuff. Yeah, the art on this is great. We'll show you, I'll show you the cards up close. Um, okay, so you're gonna grab the case booklet for, oh wait, actually, sorry. We only need, yeah, we only need the first case booklet. So you only need the case booklet and the envelope for the case that you're working on. Everything else can go back in the box. Then, um, there are character cards. Um, so the character cards are all random characters. If we're playing, if you're playing with less than four characters, you're gonna take out Wiggins. So the Wiggins card, um, so that's an example of kind of what the cards look like. It's a little blurry, I know, but there's the picture, there's the name, and then there's like a special ability. So we're each gonna randomly get dealt a character. And I'm realizing now, the shading on the back of these cards is different. Oh. There's two that are different. That's interesting. That one, that one looks extra shady. Okay. So these are our characters. No choices on that. Yeah. So, you want to keep them secret. <laughs> oh, I got purple. <laughs> you want to keep them secret because um, each character has a, spe a special ability that can be used once. And once it, you reveal your character, um, you do the special ability and then you can no longer do the special ability. Um, Okay, in addition to the character cards, there is a card that is the carriage token um, location. It's where you can go to get more carriage tokens. Then there is a Watson's card and a Holmes card. So the Holmes card is only needed at the end of, basically once somebody tries to solve it and they don't get it. And then the, home, the Watson card can be used during the game. And I'll explain all those in a minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the case book and it has a layout of how the cards go and we're going to set them out. So like 1.1, so I know it's case one and then uh, the first card. So there's one of those, all the cards have a location or a person, basically like where you go or who you go talk to. Um, and then they have the name of the case on them and then they have a number that tells you where they are in relation to and everything else. 221B Baker Street goes down to the bottom. Yep, and then 221B Baker Street <clears throat> is the solution. So it's a little bit like Clue in that we're all going to be working to find a solution and then when we think we got it we go and we like make an accusation. The difference is, is that it's not randomly decided, like it's a story, mm -hmm. it's all written on this card and once you go here and look at this card, if you're wrong, you're out of the game. Whoa. Well, sort of. You start taking on the voice of Sherlock. Woo! Is he dead? No. Is he, is he, is he, is he possessing you? Okay, uh, let's put that one there. And then let's put the Watson card. 
I guess, there. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we'll just put Sherlock down yeah. here. I mean, how can he be dead if he was never alive? In the first place? <gasps> <laughs> what is happening? Okay. Cool. So, um, in addition to... I don't even know who I am yet. Ooh, what are you doing? Oh, I need to zoom that in a little. Just scrolling down, chat. So I haven't scrolls. looked at it yet. <clears throat> do, do, do. Characters are not used in the first case. Oh, does it say that? Aw. Man, I want to do characters. Oh, no. Thanks, Folded Cash. Oh, yep, characters aren't used. Thank you, that's what I get for not uh, reading the back. I was going to be uh, Mary Mortis Mortistan. Kayla. Um, I was Irene Adler. Oh, I know. That's so perfect. My character had no nationality nor occupation. You were Toby! Oh. I was Toby, Mr. Sherman's so dog. Yeah. Oh, darn it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to read this, but first I'm going to explain how the game is played. And then I will put the spoiler dog out. Though this is just, I'm just reading the story for the first case. I'm not really sure that's spoilerish. Anyway, everybody's going to start with 10 carriage tokens, which are those tokens. Whoa. Yeah. Um, and they're the currency in this game, the primary currency. You're going to start with 10 currency tokens, and you're going to start with one, um, police token? Mmm. Um, I imagine, mm -hmm. I imagine this is the police token. Would yes. Be my guess. And then everybody the needs a, Please. the whistle is the call off. Tells the police to go, go away. And then everybody needs a pen and paper. <gasps> okay, so what? So, there's writing involved. There's, well, there's notes. <laughs> and when you decide that you've solved it, you have to write down your answers. Oh. Nope. You can't, like, change your mind. Yeah, I think so I you solved it. <laughs> what? I found the key to the whole case. No, that's the lockpick set. Oh, dang it. Nice try, though. Oh, it's a giant sticky pad. It's a giant sticky pad. <laughs> um, you want to keep your notes a uh, secret oh. from everybody else, so giant sticky pad might not help. Is that your name? So I'm going to do... <laughs> Hello, my name is... Secret I'm going to do this, I think. I think that's my solution. Okay. So everybody has a awesome standy figure of adorableness. This is mine. Ah! Um, so what we're going to do is in turn order... I turned it off. <laughs> in turn order, starting from the first player... Um, you put your standee on where you want to go. So, I'd be like, I want to go talk to the conductor. Boom. Dun, dun, dun. Just like that. And then Steve is like, cool, I want to go talk to the goods bridge. And then John's like, I want to go talk to the conductor. Oh. So, Let if you know, he takes a carriage. So... If you want to go someplace that somebody else is already at, you have to put more carriage tokens under your guy when you go there because you're taking a carriage to get there faster. If you just put your token down, you're just walking there. So what you could do, so now I get my, my token back. Now it's my turn again. I could be like, oh, hell no. I put two carriage token down and go to the conductor. So then John gets kicked off. And then he would get all but one of his carriage tokens back. Ooh. The one that he doesn't get back gets discarded into the supply. Ouch. Then John would again get to decide where he wants to go. So he could go and go do... Three. Boom! Mm -hmm. Ostensibly, you're racing each other there. Exactly. So okay. now like I get... Each of wheels. One, of <laughs> <laughs> one of my carriage tokens goes back to the supply. The other one I get. Now I can decide where I want to go. I could just be like, F it, I won't go there. I'm going to go to Scotland Yard. Now I'm not worried about it. Because I was the last person to put the stand figure down, I get mm. to go first the next round. Mm. Okay? Okay. So... You also, as an option, let's say we haven't placed anything yet, and it's the beginning of the round, I could be like, I'm going to make sure I get to go where I want. I'm going to put two carriage tokens down with my figure. Mm -hmm. So you can decide to take a carriage just from the beginning, mm -hmm. or you can wait, see if anybody's going to go where you want to go. Play it out that way. So there's like a little bit of bidding, mm -hmm. uh, and it's like round robin style. So that is what carriage tokens are primarily used for. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to locations. At, once everybody is at a location, 
<laughs> Starting in turn order, um, you go and you figure out, you read the card. So you're going to pick up the card, you're going to leave your token where it is. I'm not actually going to read this. You pick it up, you read it, la la la, oh, very interesting. You make any notes you want to make, then you put the card back. So this is how you like uncover information because on the cards and there's a lot of text um I mean, it's blurry so you're not gonna see anything but like the text is really small like it's not like big font so some of the cards have paragraphs that are like a little bit and then some are like the whole card it's kind of crazy um the guy in the blue shirt is cute i like his smile steve is the cutest it's true wait which one they're both wearing blue shirts that's more bluish I don't know. You're both cute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was from Twitch. Um, cool. So that is what we move and stuff like that. Before we actually go to any of the locations, someone can decide in turn order to enlist the help of Watson. So to enlist the help of Watson, you have to spend four carriage tokens and then you get the Watson card. Then as Watson, during your turn of the visiting phase, so when it's my turn to read this card, essentially, um, or sorry, let me take it back. When deciding where to go, you can decide to pay four to pick up Watson. Then you don't put this down, I think, because you get to go someplace that somebody else went. Um, oh, right. Yeah, it's kind of, I don't know um, who answered before, if it was Paul, if you do the Watson, do you still put down your location pawn where you want to go? Or... Does that mean two people will be able to go to the same spot? Sort of. You read it aloud, which is the whole thing. Oh. But... Oh, oh no, in addition to... Okay. Yeah, everyone. So, in addition to putting your token down, you can decide to purchase Mr. Watson. When between... Once everybody has their tokens down, before anybody reads anything, Watson, whoever has the Watson card, can pick a location, and that location, uh, specifically a location that someone is visiting, and that location is read aloud to everyone. Oh. Yeah. So you can get two places in a single turn, then? Essentially, unless I read mine aloud, which would be weird. Yeah. But it costs four carriage to bring, so I think I need to deploy... Chewies. Chewies. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I can wear this hat. Oh, somebody knows what's up. <clears throat> um... So that's Mr. Watson. So there are a few other icons that just need to be quickly explained. Um, there's an icon of the police hat slash whistle. So um, when an icon has a police hat slash whistle, that means that the um, you can only, or sorry, Okay, so when the icon is a black circle, which they all are right now, let me see if I can show you one. That means if you go there, you get the thing denoted. So if you go to Scotland Yard, you can yard, you can get a police hat or a whistle. Hmm. Is, is that if what you go, when we're insulting the police officers there? Yeah, Scotland Yard, or Yard. Oh, I can't mess it up now. Uh, if you go to the carriage stop station, you get a carriage. Um, if you go to the safe, you get a lock pick set. Lock pick set. The reason those tokens are helpful is after you have visited a location, you could decide to put it under special investigation. <gasps> Every player starts the game with one police token. You can only ever have one police token in your possession, but you can always go get more if you use yours. So let's say I went to Scotland Yard, I read Scotland Yard, I was like, that's great. I put a police token down, Scotland Yard is yeah. under invest- oh! Aha! Scotland Yard has an icon that says I yeah. can't put it there. You can't do a special investigation against the police. Yeah. Oh. Too real. Um, sorry, my token was blocking that. There are certain symbols that are like red X's with the thing that says you can't do it. So let's say instead Steve wanted to put a special, the conductor under special investigation. What this means is no one can go to that spot unless they call off the police by playing a call off the police symbol, which is the whistle. Oh. Um, and the only way to get a whistle is by going to Scotland Yard, right? Yep, and you can only ever have one whistle in your possession. Wow. So, when you put your character there, you can only put your character there if you have a token in your possession that will call the police off. Alternatively, if you don't want to call the police off, so that because once the police are called off, anybody can go there, you can pick 
a lock to get around the cops. Wow. And to do that, you have to use the lock pick set, mm. which there are only two of. And you pick one up at the safe. You can only ever have one in your possession. But if I wanted to get around the cops to go to the conductor, I could discard my lock pick set, go look here, and then it's still blocked for anybody else. So, if yeah. a investigator is on the safe, do you have to use something to get a in the way, or do you get the, the lock picks first? You don't get the lock picks unless, like, until you visit it. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Whew. Alrighty. So, I think... So does uh, this carriage symbol mean we need to use a carriage? At least no, one carriage to get if it's or down or here clear? in this bottom um, part, that means... If it's down in the bottom, that means you get it for going mm. there. But that's like when you pick it up, you get it. Mm. Um, if it's in this corner right here, if there's a symbol, that means there's a restriction either on something you can do there or some cards might come under investigation at the start of the game or something like that. There's also, there's like a locked symbol. Some cards w might be locked. Yeah, we don't have any in this case, but those cards would always need pick locks to get into. Okay, so any questions on playing? Nope, nope. This, I don't really know what this is for. They say... Is it when you make a thing? I, I'm not sure because you put your character there. Oh, well, that would make sense. Yeah. Well, it only has one side. It's in ca it's in cases which have more than one zone, which we don't have yet. So oh. I'm pretty sure we'll eventually have a case that will explain those to us. So we don't need them yet because we all are playing player colors. We know. It is it's important to note this game goes from two to seven players, which I think wow. is awesome. That is cool. Um. Okay. So. Oh right. So you're gonna make notes, stuff like that. Then let's say I have figured everything out. I am cracking this case. So I say I'm gonna go here. John's like, I too know what's mm. happening. So, this is in the visiting phase. Once we, everybody has placed their pawns, then John and I see who has the most carriage tokens left over. Mm. Whoever has the most carriage tokens gets there faster. Makes sense. So they get to look first. So before you look, you must write down the answers to the questions as specifically as you can. So if you're, like, if the one of the questions is, um, who did it? You have to give a full name. You can't just be like the gardener. Like you have to give the full name of the character that you think did it. Um, so let's say I go here, I win the carriage race, I pick it up, I look at it, I verify my my answers that I've written down with what's there, and then I'm like, oh crud, I didn't get it. Gosh darn. So I am out of the game, I can no longer solve stuff, but I can be the voice of Sherlock Holmes. So John they get to know when I lose how many questions I got right. So I could be like, oh, I got two out of three right. Then John, being smart, now that he doesn't have to work, worry about his carriage tokens, he could pay to use Sherlock Holmes. So he could pay three carriage tokens, and then he gets to ask me one of two questions. Whoa. He can either read all of the answers that I put down for my solution. Annoying. The and quantity, but not which ones are wrong. Yes. You know yeah. the quantity that I got wrong, but you don't know which ones. So you get to read what I answered, okay. and only you. Or you could spend three carriages, and you ask me, you would write the answer to one of the questions and ask me if it's right or wrong. Interesting. And you have to tell the truth. And I have to tell the truth. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Cool. So, and you can use the carriage tokens, um before. So like in that situation, you totally could, oh, Tiffany screwed up. I have carrot chickens. I will pay. Nice. So it's an option. You also can use um, Watson if you want hmm. while you're here. So you could um, oh. pay for Watson, go here, pay for Steve to read a lot of thing that you haven't seen yet. Yep. Then, and, and then to, solve it. Yep. So yeah. Okay. Cool. You sneaky dog, John. <laughs> John's a smart one. Okay. Um, so here we go. I'm going to read the... Whoops. I'm going to throw character cards on the floor. I'm going to read the back of this case, which is a diary note from um, John Watson. Um, and I'm going to put the... I'll put the dog up, because technically this is spoilers. But it's the beginning of the case, so it's not really spoilerific. Um, okay. Okay. So again, when the dog is on the table, that means there is something that is spoiler worthy. I don't know if this is spoiler worthy, but I'm gonna do it yeah. anyway. 
When the dog gets removed from the table, um, you can unmute if you have muted. Can we reference this during the game? Yes. Yeah, because we can always reference the questions in the, in the stories. Um, oh, we only have one lockpick token available to us this game. Uh, and we probably don't have... Uh, I think that's the person whose dog Toby is. That's Wiggins, yeah. Wiggins. Wiggins is special. No restriction on the number of police or whistles? Okay, no. Okay. The All all tokens and items are limited though. Okay. Which isn't a big deal because we can only ever have one of each. Max. Oh, I see. Okay. <clears throat> Once his reputation was established, the number of requests that Sherlock Holmes received at our address of 221B Baker Street was sometimes overwhelming. However, my friend was interested only in cases which presented some unusual detail that he felt would be a real challenge for his prestigious mind. This impacted negatively on his income, but positively on his mind. A good puzzle was, al was almost the only thing that could bring him out of his reoccurring ap apathy. One day, after hearing several tedious stories and beginning to fear that nothing was going to interest him, a humble-looking man appeared at the door. He was clearly agitated. Holmes examined him briefly. You work on the railways, but inside the train, relatively safe from soot. You have at least one daughter and a wife who takes great care of you, but who has not, who you have not seen yet today. You have been walking for about twenty minutes. You were not caught in the rain from a short time ago. Have you come from Paddington? Yes, sir. The man's worried expression had dissolved into one of genuine amazement. What has happened? Sir, I've been fired from my job completely unfairly. I've been accused of theft. I understand that there is no solid evidence, or you would not be here. No, nothing, no proof at all. Calmly explain everything to us, if you please. My name is Relwyn Bean, and I was on a train conductor. I was a train conductor until an hour ago. On my last trip on the Welsh Express, I was asked to guard the mail car. It is a wagon that is locked from the outside, and only the management at each station has keys that can open it. I was sitting outside the only door that gave access to the wagon at all times, and no one passed by, except for one colleague of mine who brought me a sandwich for my lunch. I assure you that I did not sleep at any time, and no one touched that door until the gaffer at Paddington Station came to unlock it. However, when he opened it, it had been robbed. Even the safe had been opened. But you are a conductor. Why were you guarding the train? Asked Holmes. It is true, but recently there have been several similar robberies, <laughs> none too big. But the management has taken extra precaution, precautionary measures. I'm going Australian in this voice. <laughs> <laughs> the point is that the wagon doesn't have any other doors and that they are blaming me for negligence. When I got off the train, I was searching the platform like all the passengers. And then when they had finished, they informed me that I was fired. I'm a scapegoat. My only hope is that you can find the thief. Please, gentlemen, I have a family to support. At the moment, I cannot not pay you, but if I get my job back, I can. Don't worry about that for now, said Holmes, raising his hand to interrupt him. Tell us, do you know what was stolen? I do not know exactly. The station master can inform you better. <laughs> what I can assure you of is that these trains do not carry money or jewelry, more like promissory notes and money orders. I imagine they are too difficult to cash. They're, they're not too difficult to cash. Holmes paid for our new client's carriage ride home out of his own pocket after having calmed him down. We then took another carriage to the new Scotland Yard. The Strahd. I propose a deal. If you allow us to investigate the robbery at Paddington Station, we will give you a train robber on a plate, Holmes offered. Lestrade was definitely interested. The truth is that this latest theft was bigger and more daring than those that we have seen so far, and my superiors would be more than happy if I delivered the thief to them. The train is still in the station. If you hurry, you will arrive before they begin the cleanup. I will inform them that you are on your way and that they should help you in every possible way. Excellent. The game is afoot! Okay. The, the game is a board game. <laughs> Let me open the back door. It's, it's getting warm in here. Okay, so these are the questions. Who is the thief? It's number one. Yep. John Watson. <gasps> no, he's writing the story. Oh, well. They won't, they won't make him do anything until the last one. Number two. How did the thief access the wagon? Dun, dun, dun. I'm kind of excited and also scared that this game is competitive because we've played the not competitive, the co-op one, and it's a lot of fun. 
And I'm like, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Clue that actually uses your brain. Uh, how did the thief remove the loot from the train? Okay. Do, do, do. Alright, so this is, this back sheet is available to anyone throughout the game. Dog is going away. Okay. Um. So the back of the casebook is available to anyone throughout the game. If they want to look at something, um, I actually want to make a note because I was reading it and this mm. couldn't make a note. Um, you know, that whole sentence that I completely left off. Uh, reading so that only I would have the information. That one. That's the one I want to write down. Um, okay. Cool. Okay. So, are we ready to begin? Let's do it. Also, I really apologize that my accent went from Cockney to Australian. But maybe... Just, at least it didn't traveler. go Spanish. Yeah, maybe the conductor did, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He spent some time in his youth in Australia, and yeah. sometimes... When he's stressed out, he gets reverts back to his childhood. Yeah. Yeah. I'll buy okay. That. <laughs> <laughs> he's from Australia. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's do it. Um. I think that. So who's first player? Me, because I have it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm oh. gonna go ahead. I'm gonna spend one to go to the carriage stop. Straight out. So Steve, you can uh, go above me. So or sorry, not. this is take three carriage tokens. Yes. This is you just get a carriage token. Yes. I am going to go speak <gasps> with the station that's where master. I was go. Not so fast, says oh. John. Oh, I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So does anyone? Did anyone want to buy Watson? No. Uh, mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So um, the carriage token that I used is discarded. And then everybody picks up, yeah, and you pick up oh. and read all at once. So this game might be boring from like a viewing perspective because it's just gonna be us reading and scribbling notes, but you know, enjoy the facial expressions, I guess. Mine has a lot of info. Yeah. It's it's an entire card. Yeah. Mm. It's like I don't know what's worthy of writing down or not. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna notebook. Oh. Now I know why I want to go to John's. Jeez. Oh, sorry. That was a bad poker face. Like a super interesting stream. Mm. Oh, also because I went where I went, I get a carrot chicken, which is nice. Which is the one you spent. Yeah. Okay. 
the cards to yourself in an accent. Oh, I did. I did all the voices. There were several on that card, and I had a great time in my head. Um, so I get first player? Yes. Because you were the last to play. <laughs> oh, wow. Steve's got... Steve's has a big paragraph. Are you just, like, writing? He's no, you don't, just don't write the whole paragraph. Are you going to need another sticky note? I'm going to need another sticky note. <laughs> I'm not saying this is a useful card, though. <laughs> Right, I mean, I don't see why anybody would really go see the Station Master. Anyway. Alright. So, John gets to place first. Mmm. Mm. That was a great reaction. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I... To the restaurant car. Mm. <laughs> Steve, are you writing an accent? <laughs> to the degree that bad handwriting is an accent. Yeah. My handwriting is so bad that, like, unless I work on it, people can't read it. It's like this mix between cursive and print. It's just bad. I just, I like, I like the idea that we are hopping in carriages and racing down the platform. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just imagining a giant line of ten horses with their carriages still. Yeah, it's like the taxi <laughs> stand. We're like, all right, to first class. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then like we pass each other. Like that's the best. And we like glare. Like we do the Luigi, the Luigi glare. Yeah, the Luigi. Oh right, I was supposed to do that on the switch. Okay. Um, Steve, where are you going? Oh, um, to first class. Okay. I have to delete okay. Swinson's thing. Did I, John? Did you win first class when what? we played, or did I win? First, did I win first the game? Class? Yeah. Oh, I think oh. you destroyed us surprisingly. Or no, maybe yeah. John barely did it. Oh, Jesus! Oh. No, sorry, not to. I just I can look up what stream. Yeah, remind me. Um, ooh, I yeah. mean, they might know. I have bigger sticky notes, even than these. say in the murder mysteries the clot thickens also nobody died doesn't mean there won't be a death by the end of this case <gasps> but nobody has died so far And then you leave, and then and you don't write a lot, and then the other people go there and write a whole bunch. That's probably a bad sign. That would be my guess. What are they writing? You ate. You wrote a bunch. I know, but like if I didn't, I'd be feeling like really nervous right about now. 
Or if someone went through your spot after you and just like, whoa. One oh, word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just drew like, a circle. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yes. Yeah, like, oh, that was worth enough. Okay. How do you remember where this is sitting? Uh, and Steve is the last to place, so he gets to be oh. first next time. Sorry, there's a lot here. No, it's Steve did the same thing! Oh, but I will sure. remove the... I remember how to delete. I would like to go to the engine. Also, I find it interesting that you can perhaps telegraph your moves. Perlock? What's Perlock? Oh, I saw it. Yeah, yeah Perlock is coming out of Urgens. Yeah, I was reading it. Um, it's my two favorite mm -hmm. things. Sherlock and Watson. Also, I don't know if we can get the overhead camera, but Perlock Holmes is currently in the back. Oh, yeah, you would have to swing the boom out. I would, I'd have to ruin the... Well, I mean... Just do it. Is it going to be perfect? Ah! Ah, that, yep, that's Perlock Holmes. Abby's basket. Uh, okay. Um... Okay. All right, uh, John. It is your turn. Uh, Please. No. Oh, it is. You're right. I will go to the trade shop. Okay. Um. There's a lot of things that are being written when people go to the station master. I mean, the conductor did say go to the station master. Did the conductor say that? Yeah, he said. Oh, the guy. Yeah, the guy. Okay, yeah, station master. Um. All right. For you. For you. Prepare to write. <laughs> All right. All right. Did the thing. We borrowed some a friend's switch. Um, and then got horrifically sick, and the friend was like, yeah, you don't need to give it back. Um, <laughs> but we bought him one to replace the one that he loaned us. So, I had to disconnect his user info from it. Okay. We did get Yokohama dried out. Um, we put the components between paper towels and then put uh, the collector's edition Takenoko on top. Um, and after leaving it for a couple days, they dried out. Um, the tech cards were, some of them were a little worse for wear, but probably the only thing we need to really repair is one of the um, uh, advisor, advisor tokens split in half. Mm -hmm. And we need to uh, we need to glue it back together. The rest went back to normal. We did the stream the week after. We did at the end. Uh, we pulled it out and looked at the components again. So. Hmm. Oh. 
it's kind of cool because like I now know things that just there's yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of making explicit. Like in Consulting Detective, you want to tell everybody everything so everybody has shared knowledge, and then kind of convince people where to go next. Then this is kind of inverting it. I or, think that if we had more players, it would probably be a bit more interesting, and the carriage tokens would be a bit more involved. Um, so yeah. And it's in interestingly when someone goes somewhere, you know you're probably not going to need to fight them to go there again because they just went there. You'll only need to fight the other player. Like in a three-player game, I'll need to fight John to go where Tiffany went, but I think we're being really conservative with their carriage tokens right now. It might get crazy if stuff gets hot. Follow. I, I like the idea that we're all following up our own hot leads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coincidentally, is it leads a city in England? I mean, I would keep my wine in a lidded cup, but um, I don't know, it just encourages me to drink more wine. I don't know. Those little mason jar lids are pretty cute. Alright. Mm. Uh, I picked last, so I get. To be first, and I'm going to the sea. Mm. Hey, Eden. Oh. Ah. We. I'm going to the restaurant. Orleans oh, tonight. That'd be great. I do have an adult sippy cup. Where's my adult sippy cup? Oh, the little purple one. Well, oh yeah, I do have an adult sippy cup. <laughs> <laughs> my mom and I did a trip once to Seattle and we bought wine and I had we went on a boat and I only had my camping thing and it was great um I get the keys mm. oh yeah that's right we could be leaving the police too oh, like right. we totally nobody's been leaving oh, right. the well maybe we will now <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm like going into my question zone. Alright, I'm gonna put the police officer down. Safe is under investigation by the cops. So what that means is that neither of them can go there unless they call off the cops. So they have to go get a call off token. And they have to, or they can pick the lock. But I'm the only one with this key. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ichi is working on her chewy while sitting on my foot. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Like. Nothing matters, but. Okay. Mm. I like to drink Malbec's. The chat is discussing why. I like cabs. Just that kind of tart tanniness really stimulates my brain fibers. Your brain, name? Mm -hmm. All right, John oh. is going to Scotland Yard. I am. Hmm. 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 
And you also kind of need to keep track of where other people have been, too. I just think I should be writing down where I've been. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know where I've been, but I'm just like, mm. Sort of thinking, you've been to three spaces? Yeah. No, four? Four. Four. This would be our fifth visit. <sighs> Alright. Really? I think it's one. Oh no, you're right. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm going to go to bed. <gasps> Ooh. Alright, um, I will go to Goodsbridge with three. Wow. And the one that you did is lost. Dun 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 dun! I'm gonna mail This is super exciting, I know. <laughs> Says, this is a funny game to live stream. Lots of silent reading. Yeah. Uh, no. But you guys, you know what? There's a lot of people in the chat to keep company. So. No, no arithmetic. Oh man. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. When do you put the police token down? When you leave the place. Was that like in turn order or just in you know, I just do it? You just do it, honey. You just left the place. We all simultaneously read yeah. and then we all The police are at the mail. Alright. Uh how about you? Yeah. Dun dun dun. I think everyone's been to the mail wagon. I haven't. Oh yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, 
Good. Sick. Oh. I'm gonna go to first class. I'm gonna go to the station platform. Okay. Dun dun dun! Okay. Who went last? Uh, I'm using my lock picks to go to first class. Oh, that's not where that goes, but still. Dun dun dun! <sighs> I'm going to 221B Baker Street. Steve thinks he solved it. Steve thinks he solved it. What do you have a tie and carriage tokens? Oh no! Uh, fist, fisticuffs, I think. We... Yeah, do it out the old school way. Alright, old man. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> to solve the case simultaneously. Oh. So both of you write down your answers. Oh, you gave them chewies? You didn't give them the antlers? Yeah. Oh. She gave them the antlers. That's why we bought them. Okay. So John and Steve are attempting to solve the case. Uh, I have a feeling I know who did it. And I know, I think I know how they got rid of it. Um, I don't know, spoiler. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm going to write my answer, too. You're going to... I don't oh. think I can, because no, it's turn order. Gonna, yeah. um, but I'm going to do it... We well, already to, went here, though. ...to say I'm smart. I haven't been to first class. That's where I just placed. Oh, you don't have to place your figure here? What? No. I'm not trying to solve it. Oh. I'm writing this so that if you guys win, I can be like, no, I knew it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, and if you're wrong, I get to go, and I'm the only one that's looking, but I have five turns to figure it out. So I don't get to use oh. my carriage tokens... To do homes? To do homes? No, because nobody has failed yet. Because so we're going to try to solve it at the same time, so, same, yes. so we won't mm. fail or succeed at the same time. Yes. I see. Well, so have you both... Why do you only have five turns? No, four. If... After this turn. If so you're if, the only person left. if I'm the only person left, I have four rounds to figure it out. Okay. So yeah. Okay. But that could include the asking questions. So. I could pay for that, yes. Yeah. Okay, so you two are going to attempt to solve it. Oh, that's not the right one. At the same time. What's that one? Right. So did you write the answer to all the questions? I with did. the name okay. Oh, I hope you didn't see. I did, but that's fine. 
She already wrote her answers down. So. I did already write my answers down. Don't. Okay, so I can't give away anything, and then John will get it. Well, John will read well, it. Well, you can say if you no, want. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 because right? it's simultaneous. Oh, it's right? simultaneous. So you read it. Okay, now, did one of you win? I did not win. I did not win. Oh! So do we say, the pressure is on! Do we so, say how many questions we got? Yes. How many questions did you get right? I got two. You got oh, two? I got one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so terrible at this I get to go to the first class, and now they are both good resources for me if I want to pay. Oh, I'm um, not, but... <laughs> didn't you already go there? No, that was where I placed first. So I placed and said I was going to go there, and then you were like, I'm going to go solve it. This makes Who me feel slightly better. the police better. token, then? I did. Or no, no, I you did. did. Uh, oh, okay, somebody did. Okay. It was a valiant effort. Yeah. So wait, which one of us is Sherlock? I, I pay and I ask. I get his right side. Uh, <laughs> I get his left side. I get to pick the person that I ask from. No, you have two turns. No, I get to pick. <laughs> you get to pick your Sherlock? It's some kind of fanfic thing. What? 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 Can I see your answers? Oh. I did terribly. Mm. Yeah, I, my my answer was a similar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Am I right? Where did you go? You went to. <gasps> Wait, but if you got two right. one of his answers. I'm trying not to let it affect me. Okay, so the way this works is I know Asterix I Asterix game. I know I have four... One of the answer I saw is the same answer I had. So I don't feel mm -hmm. cheating no, we, in that way. I don't see it crossed out. <laughs> and, uh... I did cross everything out. Oh. Well. Yeah, that I wrote down. It's uh, all suspect then. I mean, well, no, I, just I was kind I of hoping to... it was a different person, but... It was Did you just give it away? Huh? Did you just give it away? Give it away, give it away. Give what away? away? Just stop. Okay. Don't say anything to John. Any more about it. Ah. Uh. Tap Morse code on your foot. Okay. <laughs> New developments coming over the wire. I may only play as many extra rounds as I have carriages up to a maximum of four. I have more than four, so I'm good. Okay. Um. I'm going to pay four uh, to activate. Uh. Okay, I'm going to pay four to activate Holmes. Uh, Mr. Mr. Kyrez, may I read your questions? Oh, it's not you, just, you just get to read them. Yeah, I get to read your answers. Not my notes. Yeah, but, okay. I mean, if you can read them. Your handwriting is the hard part. Okay. I read in code, what can I say? No, you just write softly. That's your code. Wait. And you got two correct? I got two correct. Remind me where you went? You Can I know? I, I can't known. know where you went. You should have you should have been keeping track in your notes. Can I seriously? Did I <laughs> I haven't can. gone to the mail wagon, have I? haven't. Okay. I'm gonna go to Scotland Yard to get a whistle. Or wait, can I? Uh, yeah. 
This is kind of weird, because I spent the tokens. So does that mean I have less rounds now? Oh, maybe. All other players have been eliminated. They may play only as many extra rounds as they have carriages, up to a maximum of four, after the extra rounds. But it doesn't say I discard them. Well, you discarded four, though. Well, no, but it doesn't say I discard one when I, like, a round oh. passes. No, 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 I did the four to do this. Okay. Yeah, I... So I get this. And it's worthless. Mm -hmm. So is is the idea you have four rounds from when the clock starts? But I get the police whistle off, which is what I want. Well, so now this was my second round. Now my third round, yeah. I'm going to the mail wagon. So I use the call off to take the cops off. Then I look. Oh yeah, I would be interested to know if you... If, like, it's every round, you have to count your remaining tokens, and that's how many you have, or if it's just from when the clock starts, right. you have your four tokens. So basically, can you go to Sherlock or not? Or, like, for Go three. here. Yeah. Well, then it'd be infinite, because you can go here, get three, increase the amount you have. Oh, no, it's up to four, though. But still. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't wasn't Conan Doyle annoyed that the yeah. Sherlock his Sherlock stuff eclipsed like all his other fiction? Yes. I remember reading that. Ah, uh, okay. That didn't help me at all. I'm pretty confident that didn't help me at all. It always seems like, at least in Consulting Detective, the critical detail, or like, Sherlock will get the case from like an abnormally small number of clues, and yeah. then you, the reader, whether you're reading the book or playing the game, need to like, be exhaustive, and then he's like, yeah, I just made some leaps of logic. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty frustrating. Like, there was this one clue that the person originally who came to us for the case gave, and then I went to one spot, and then I knew who it was. Yeah. Sherlock... I can't remember if she didn't have it. Ah! Whenever I play these games, I want to reread re some Sherlock stuff. Though. Okay. Um. Oh man, there's two. I we're, have. We're two. sitting in Sherlock's sitting room, by the way. I know, and I can't pay. <laughs> I can't pay for another Sherlock thing. And I have one more location that I can go to. Um, I'll go to the conductor. Okay. Oh. What? I'm just pretty yeah. <laughs> This, this, like, doesn't help. Um, it helps, but it doesn't help. I imagine only some of these put you on the case, and some of them are kind of... You got two questions right. I did get two questions right. No. No? I mean... Yes. Okay, okay. Alright, I have to go to 221B Baker Street now. So I have to write down... So you should read aloud what your guess is. I'm going to. I'm gonna put this spoil. Well, I'm gonna put the spoiler dog up, and then I'll do it. But first, I have to make a decision because I I'm torn between two two yeah. solutions. And I went there. So what are you shaking your heads at? You saw nothing. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Ah! As I mean, in further inspection, the the folding with the sticky tape for the sticky notes. Is Pretty effective, yeah, because they, they stay. It's like I thought of this. Um, <laughs> I didn't. Oh, uh, God. Do we still. 
Do we still have the, oh, but there's the a Sherlock pattern? What, what is it called? The or oh, it's the, the houndstooth pattern, but there's a no, term for the... no. I think it was too, it was way too small for my head. Your head's close. Yeah, so, yeah. But I'm a I'm an irregular with this. Yeah, you're one of the. Yeah, I think we're getting. Dog's not out yet. Yeah. Um, just I'm just like stressing over it. Ah! There's the term for that kind of hunting cap, and I forget. I forget the name. Okay, I. The Sherlock I, hat. I think I'm gonna no. go. I think I'm gonna go with my original, even though I think it's wrong. Yeah. It just with what you said. It just. Oh man. What did, you say? What did I say? You got two what? questions right. I did oh. get two right. Um, and I know which one you got. I have a really strong confidence on which one you got wrong. Um. But do you know the answer? So I'm just gonna rewrite what I wrote. Okay. Spoiler dogs out. So, we are now going to read uh, what I think was the answer, and then we're going to open the casebook um, once I find out if I got it wrong or not, and we're going to read the story bit that concludes it. So the spoiler dog is out, because this is the spoilers for this game, if you want to play this game on your own at some point. Um, when the spoiler dog goes away, the spoilers are done. Okay, Mutes here we go. Mutes if you got them. Wait, we read your questions. Oh, okay. oh sorry, okay. Uh, whoa, so I answered, well, because you guys want to know. Um, who is the thief? William Parker! Supposed architect. Ooh. How did the thief access the mail wagon? Deer stalker. Thank you, folded cash. That's the um, name of the hat. The deer stalker. Oh. Yeah. Okay. How did the thief access the wagon? Through the upper hatches on the mail wagon. Yep. From the roof through a hatch opened with a lockpick. I didn't specify that. But Still how did the thief remove the loot from the train? Within his hat. No. Put it in his top hat. Nice. Yep. Um. And that was, these are the exact answers that I had when they went, so that makes me feel slightly better. The reason why I was hemming and hawing is because the dog, the, the dog guy, there was suit in his room. No. Nope. Yeah, so number two. No. No, it was yeah. suit in uh, number three. Yep, so it was in number three. Number two was he was just traveling with the dog. So but number f oh, he was in number three. I read it wrong. Okay. Yep. This makes me significantly less confused. And then I think okay. I, I had to decide between William Parker Ooh, or Eleanor Ellen. for the number three and the number one, but I thought I remembered Eleanor was knitting, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, well and when they said, like, a curious thing of bent metal, I was like, is that a crochet hook? Is it the knitting lady? And yeah. then and then it wasn't. Yeah, that's, I was hoping it was her. Okay, so on the inside, there is a pretty... Uh, there's a nice solution board with like the whole story and another thing, so I'm gonna read that. Um, so if you're still watching, Spoiler Dog is still out. Okay. <clears throat> Holmes sent a telegram reassuring our client from the station. I, who had spent the day running up and down the platform again and again, thought I had a good idea of what had happened. Holmes, if I may, I would like to deduce the solution to this case. I will consult my notes, but I beg you to help me when you see fit. Fine, Watson. Go ahead. If it does well, you can tell the straw yourself this evening. In the first place, seeing as the carriage door was inaccessible, it is clear that the thief entered through the hatch on the roof, which was locked and disused, but not sealed. Elementary, hence the scratches in the lockpick. Yes, the lost lockpick. Lock pick. But the thief had to have others, as the hatch was locked again. Indeed, the thief is a prepared man, prepared and very skilled. I assure you that it cannot be easy to walk barefoot across the roof of a train. That is not to mention the opening of the safe. And he did it all in the lunch break. The only time possible, just half an hour, a truly remarkable feat. Do you know who it is yet? Well, it had to be someone who ate the blackberry pie and who left soot remains in their compartment. Also, someone who was traveling in one of the compartments which allowed them reach of the ladder that led to the roof. That is to say, compartments three or four. And someone who returned promptly from lunch. Someone who wore black to hide the soot stains. And someone who had little luggage despite supposedly returning home after a long time away. Ahem, <clears throat> I managed to say, feeling overwhelmed. Ergo, it could only be William Parker, I said, back to my consulting my... Blah, blah. I said, going back to consulting my notes to be sure I had not given the wrong answer. Indeed, but I doubt that is his real name. He was, only, he was also the only one with a suitable means of carrying the stashed loot. His hat? His hat. That man had been stealing for months with the same modelist operandi, always train full of passengers who do not stand out. However, this time he had some bad luck. The train full of children very significantly reduced the number of suspects. It will not be easy to find him. 
Well, he doesn't know that we know, so Lestrade can be watchful and catch him the next time he tries it. The important thing is that we have helped our client. Do you think it might be the former employee... Do you think it might be a former employee of the company? There can't be many people who must know about those hatches. I must admit, Watson, you do seem to be the learning trick. I filled with pride and only imagined to hide the fact by immediately coughing. Damn suit. Cool. Yay. All right, well. Our... That was the game. Also, I just want to say, um, I thought it was the guy who was the employee of the company. Because uh, the, the carriage guy says it was an employee of the company, but I hadn't seen him in a long time. The inspector. But that was yeah. the inspector. Yeah. So. Well, and I we figured it out from the from the rooms. The restaurant um, car was actually surprisingly helpful. What was the helpful. deal with the ladder on rooms three or four? Was that? Was if you enough? went to Goods Bridge, you would find that oh, that I is how that. they get into the tra train car. Yeah. Via the ladder. And I didn't go there, so I missed the. Well, the after hatch. I went there, I was like, crud! I should have put. The well, yeah. it wasn't it wasn't the good bridge, but it's the same. Okay. Dog is going away. Spoilers are done. Okay. Oh <laughs> no, it was it was this it was this one. Yeah, no, I know. Okay. Well no, We're just sorry. yeah. Still spoiling. Spoiling. I'm spoiling. I'm still sorry, spoiling. I spoiled it. Seems really bad. Don't read the name of that card. That's Watson in yeah. a Yeah. So that was the first case. That was a lot of fun. Um it definitely had there's it I mean uh, it, thanks for not doing spoilers in chat. Yes. People. Thank yeah. you. Um, it was a lot of fun doing, I mean, there was some, there was some connections that I saw that were very similar to, like, Sherlock Holmes consulting detective games, um, but there also was, like, definitely a story that was happening on the cards, mm -hmm. and, like, when you jumped in, there was, like, tidbits and hints that kind of, like, would lead you to other cards based right. on what was happening in the story of those cards. So that was pretty cool. That was cool, and you could pick up on that. I really liked it, because the first location I went to, there was a major plot point, and I was like, okay, I have to find where this comes from, because this is probably significant. And it was something super minor that was just, like, a description of a character, but it was enough for me to be like, I have to find where mm. this happens, because this is, this is crucial. And it was. So that made me feel really cool. Um, yep. And then I I tried to follow up on one of those, and then I totally struck out. Yeah. And so oh, was, it took me a while to find it. Yeah. No, but it was one of those things where I'm like, oh, I wonder if it led from this card. So that was actually really cool, as you're trying to find, right, where to yeah. find that information. Yeah. So, um, I mean, we've only played the one case so far, but it's definitely interesting. I think it's fun. I want to play again, um, which is great. And I like the fact that while this is somewhat of a legacy game, because like we can't play it again, mm -hmm. because we just know they don't, we don't destroy anything. So we could play this, have a great time with this, and then easily give it to somebody else that would enjoy it, or like sell it, or you know that kind of stuff. Like it doesn't, us playing it doesn't ruin anything for anyone except for ourselves. Right. Yeah, and it's more, it's more in the vein of something like Consulting Detective, where there's a fixed number of cases, versus a game where you're playing the same game but like you know, you're changing the components, like with Pandemic or yeah. with Risk, this is more like, you get your X cases, probably 10, right? Ish? I think 10, yeah. Um, in the new one. But I, I, I'm, I was happy with this. I would, I would play the other nine. Right. I, I also there's like, no, there's, there's 12 more. Oh, 12 more? Oh. I thought you were saying 10 is in Consulting Detective. Oh, no, 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 I meant... There's I meant, 12 more of this. Well, I feel like this wrapped up a little sooner than Consulting Detective, because Consulting Detective, you've got you know, 50 possible places to go, a lot of them are kind of red herrings, yeah. um, and it can take a while you're going through all the new series, which is great, but you wouldn't play two in an evening, you'd play, right. you'd play one. Yeah, so uh, Kabuki Kid asks, was it harder than expected or easier? Um, it was a little easier, I mean, I was expecting like Sherlock Holmes consulting mm -hmm. detective, like leaps of faith knowledge, but um, at the same point, like, it wasn't... They, they got me. Like, even at the last second that I thought it was somebody else for very clear reasons, and it turns out those reasons were because I misread one sentence in a card. But, like, still, at the end, I was still like, whatever, it's a coin flip. Like, um, mm -hmm. so, um, I think it's, I think it's a lot of fun. I think yeah. it's interesting. This is, like, this is what I want Clue to be. Like, Clue, yeah. is, Clue is a stupid game. Yeah. Um, because you're limited by the dice, like, it doesn't matter how good you are at going to rooms and deducing things, like, it's literally, like, how good are you at rolling dice. Yeah. Whereas this one, it's very strategic. There's no luck-based. Like, 
You make conscious decisions about how much you're going to bid to go to spots. You make conscious decisions about where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. um, and the locations do make sense. If I'm assuming the rest of the cases will be like this one, where um, there will be a story clue no matter where you go that will give you someplace else to go to. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And also, I feel like the case definitely feels easier than something like Consulting Detective, which has usually... I think almost always there's subplots mm -hmm. in Consulting Detective, and there's like red herrings which are deliberately designed mm -hmm. to lead you astray. Well, I'm sure that'll come up um, too in the later ones. I'm, I'm yeah, sure like this is specifically but, the yeah. easiest case. Well, but I, I guess I mean in this, it but was, like a lot, it was easier, but there's a race element that Consulting Detective doesn't have as much. Consulting Detective is more about, you know, can you do it in less clues than Sherlock? Yeah. And this is more like, we're, we'll probably all get it. Like, if we all went to all the locations, we would get it, but who's going to get it first? Yeah. Well, it's also cool because, like, when you play Sherlock Holmes, Consulting Detective, you have a lot of conversations with people about, like, trying to convince people of things and, like, no, we should go here, no, we should go here. But, like, in this, like, you're just having arguments with yourself. Does Sherlock and the carriages stay out? Oh, yes, thank you. Um, so, you're... 221B goes back in, right? Yes. Uh, you're just having arguments with yourself, and then at the end, once everybody knows, we we all like we're fighting, having discussions that aren't yeah. spoilerful. Yeah. Because we're like into it. So. I think it's definitely something like consulting detective is a different dynamic because we're going to be making those passionate arguments during the game, and mm -hmm. we're like, no, but don't you see You'll convince this, someone this else clue? Out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas in this one, we're kind of like peering over our notes at each other. So totally different dynamic. Yeah. Yep. Um, so Folded Cash in the chat has said that they've played six cases so oh, far. Nice. Um, I think that, that they like it. They're going to say really soon whether or not they like it. Yeah, and um, then Folded Cash says this is the easiest case, which makes sense. Yeah. I would I would imagine that this one is like all within the same location. It's all in a train. Sure. And the other ones will have us gallivanting across multiple stories yeah. and multiple places. Probably not across the continent would be my guess. What's gonna happen? Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just waiting to see what Folded thinks of it. Um, the chat is currently just di discussing one of Mer's uh, dot foster pugs, which sounds poor, poor puppy. Um, uh, he does rehab for pugs, which explains why he has so many pugs. But um, yeah, I think it's only nine o'clock. So, um, I mean, this stream is an hour and a half at this point. Uh, this was like Rube Rules teaching and like other things, so I'm pretty sure you could probably play this pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, knock it out in an hour easily. Yeah, well, in different cases, you're gonna get yes. um, different like difficulties of stretches and right. things like that. Like, so. imagine keeping detailed notes is probably important, so probably the more complex the case, the more you're gonna be writing notes and having to go to more locations too. Yeah. So. Yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like it might be fun, more fun with, um, one or two more players to add some yeah. constraint to the board, um, to make us use those carriage tokens, but I feel like if you were playing with seven players, it would just be way too much, like, mm -hmm. way too much, way too fast, which is probably why the Watson card is involved, and, like, you have character cards that have powers and stuff like that, um, I don't know if at two players it would be, like, a little lacking in competition, We'll see. We'll give it a shot. But yeah, I would imagine four to five is maybe the sweet spot. Right. Whereas with something like consulting, I'd say the sweet spot's like three. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Three or four, depending. Four is not bad, especially if you have a lot of newspapers. Um, cool. All right. So do we want to do a bonus stream tonight? It's sure. nine o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We could do one. Yeah. Are we doing one of these or the one you brought? Do we have time for that? We don't have time for that. Oh, no. Well, uh, it says 90 minutes in the box, but that's a non-stream 90 minutes. That's a, yeah. that's a, that's, that's that's a, that's a two and a half hour, yeah. probably, if it says 90 in the box. Folded Cash says uh, five minute players seems to be, is the best from that their opinion. Sense. So I kind of can see that, for sure. Um, okay, well, we could play Lady Richmond. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Which would be fun with more players, though Lady Richmond, I um, probably want to do as a prime stream. Yeah, I would, do, I would do that as a prime stream. Um... Do we could do mint works. Do Valeria. We could do mint works. We could do Valeria for sure. Valeria is pretty quick. Let's do Valeria. Okay, we're yep. gonna do a bonus stream. Um, so do you want to go grab it? Yes. Uh, we're gonna do a bonus stream tonight. So you, if you want to keep I mean, watching, we can just um, do a bonus stream of case two. <laughs> I would totally play case two, but 
Um, let's reduce the number we just, of spoiler we just content. Killed a, we that just we're... kill the bonus stream and just do it on our own. It's very tempting. Um, it is very tempting. But I'm trying, we're going to go away for some time soon, and I've made a list for Origins, and it's kind of long, so let's <laughs> let's get through these unplayed. Uh, we're going to do a bonus stream of Valeria Card Kingdoms from Daily Magic Games, designed by Isaac Ve uh, Vegas? Vega. Isaac Vega. Um, Vallejo. Vallejo. Isaiah's I am entirely Vallejo. wrong. Uh, Isaiah Vallejo. Uh, we are, good night, Madbona. Um, so we're going to shut down this stream. And in like five, ten minutes, we're going to come back up and we're going to play this. But um, thank you for tuning in and watching this episode, this stream of Sherlock, or uh, Watson and Holmes, um, designed by Dr. Jesus, um, really long name. Uh, Dr. Jesus, it's on the very front of the oh. box. Jesus Torres Castro? Yeah, Dr. Jesus Torres Castro. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it, um, and thank you chat for hanging out and chatting and keeping yourselves occupied in this game where we just quietly looked at cards and made notes. Um, sorry it was the most exciting stream from that angle, but we had fun playing and, and I hope that you all had fun hanging out together. We weren't bored. We, no. we definitely were bored. Um, if you're watching this in the future at some date and you're not watching this live, you should tune in and watch live sometime, it's a lot of fun. Um, I understand that we stream at kind of a late hour for some folks, um, so yeah, maybe maybe we'll do some more bonus streams at more somewhat normal times. But with that, good night. And good if night. you're sticking around, we'll see you in like five minutes. Oh, hello, Kitty. Are we coming for the second game? Ooh. I Sorry, I'm just looking at the other games. I wanted to put that one under. Oh, sure. That's how we keep chalk it where we are. The one on top is the case we're playing. Boom. Okay. All right. Good night. It's not Vincent Vega. I am a horrible person. It's Isaiah. Um, Isaiah Spilejo. Isaiah Spilejo. Designed. Designed. Which will be next? Oh. Not. Oh. Oh, that's an important. So yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Wow, the lag is pretty bad. They're talking about about things now, so we gotta wait a little bit. So other Sherlock games. We've got Watson and Holmes. Sherlock and Mycroft. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. Beyond Baker Street. Beyond Baker Street. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wasn't there another one? There, remember there was one we played where you went to locations that was like a Jack Builder? That one was a little rough. We played it in the Gladstone apartment. Is that the Navi like one? No, that's Beyond no, Baker Street. No, that's oh. Beyond Baker Street. No, it, was a, it had like a huge deck in different locations. It was competitive. Oh yeah, we played it once. And I got rid of it. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember the name of that one, but that that's, was that that's was how one. memorable that was. Huh. Um, um that's, yeah. I think that's it for Sherlock Games. We found. Yep. Okay. Well, they're not saying goodbye, so maybe the lag is that bad. I don't really know. Okay. Either way. Goodbye. Oh, big stretch, because Abby walked across the thing. Oh. At, at some point, the lag is really bad oh. tonight. <laughs> like deducing where we are. Alright, I think that's good. The lag isn't this bad. I'm sorry. But, um...